Eisenhower students. As you can see, I am tracing around a shadow. And shadow tracing is going to be our art project for this week. So you can choose anything you'd like to trace that will make a shadow. I chose this aloe plant and it's making a very interesting shadow of all of its leaves. But you could choose a toy or you could choose any other plant or anything that you'd like. So what you need to do with shadow tracing is you can get a piece of paper, a pencil, or a marker of some sort, and you just get whatever you'd like to trace in place and just trace around the shadow. Now it is something you do need to start and finish around the same time because the sun will move. Um, and if you don't have an outdoor area to trace in, you can always set something up in a window, at a table. You can play with light and figure out a great place for you to trace your shadow. Now, there's different ways to trace shadows, and if you have a front, you know, an area with concrete and some uh, sidewalk chalk, you can always trace your body also. So, uh, you can grab some sidewalk chalk, and you could strike a pose, and someone could trace your shadow. That's Zara, my daughter and her papa. And he is tracing around her body. And after you trace around your body, you could have some, oops, don't move. <laughs> you can have some fun. And you can give yourself a silly hairdo and some fun, a fun outfit and a silly face if you'd like. Oh, and that's Kiwi the Chugamut. So you can trace your body, you can trace something you set up outside, but if it's not a sunny day, you can also always do some tracing inside. So if you'd like to do some shadow tracing inside, you could set up a little area with a piece of paper. Uh, you can choose some little toys or little things that will put off a cute shadow and you can trace those too. You'll need a light source for tracing shadows. And you can see that this little lamp here, you can move, but you can also just use any light and you can move whatever uh, area or whatever you're tracing. Now you can see when I get closer to the light, the shadows get smaller. And as I get farther away from the light, the shadows get longer. So you can just play with the area, uh, the shadow that you like. And then once you have a nice shadow, you can always just take your pencil and trace around the shadow that you have projected. Now this one's, you have to watch your own shadow. It kind of gets in the way. My hippo, it's hard to get to that one. But you can trace see around this little kangaroo. I'm just tracing around the contour line of the shadow, which is the line on the outside of it. Now, after you trace your shadows, you could take those shadow tracings and turn them into a fun piece of art. So we traced that aloe plant outside and we uh, colored the aloe plant with some crayons and we painted around the outside of the aloe plant and turned it into a really beautiful piece of art. This is actually two pieces of paper that we taped together because I did one half and my daughter did the other half. But it's a fun way to make some simple art that you can hang on your wall and um, make it look beautiful. So it's so nice to see you Eisenhower students. This is a fun thing for you to do at home. You can do it inside, you can do it outside, you can do it during the day, you can do it at night. And um, you can make as much shadow art as you'd like. Now, one thing I'd like to tell you is if you make some really cool shadow art and you'd like to show me, please feel free to have your parents take a picture of your art and send it to me. Uh, to my email, which is elizabeth.hall at bvsd.org. Nice to see you. I'll see you next week.